All right, so we're going to do a little sliding in bar here. So let's make another div, and we're going to call that div id equals slide in. I guess it's also sliding out, but uh, well, we won't talk about that. Okay, so then we'll say more information. Okay, so we're just going to have this div up here, and it's kind of bad, so let's make it what we want it to be again. So we're going to say again, position it absolutely. Okay, we're going to give it a width of um, how about 250 pixels. you got to get the z-index up again. Okay, background's going to be white this time, just fully white. Um, <clears throat> and we're going to want to make its height also the same as the map, ultimately. And what we're going to want to do is move this right off the page because we only want it to come in when a button is pressed or maybe when the user kind of moves their mouse over here. Um, <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to make the margin left negative 200 pixels. So margin left, or negative 250, my bad. So it's completely disappeared there. So let's take that and we'll say slide in. There we go. And uh, then we're just going to add a little bit of jQuery here. With some easy little events. Okay, so we're going to make a button here, and we're going to make it button ID equals advanced. Okay, I'm going to say advanced toggle. Okay, and then here we will just add some events. So we'll say document dot on and make this click. And put this in here. Oops. You'd think I wasn't a programmer from how I type. Okay. So now when it's clicked, we're going to check. Uh, we could just directly modify the margin, but it's a little hard to check if the margin is uh, 250. We don't really. We just want to make this easy on ourselves. So what we're going to have is like slide in dot in. So when it's slid into the map, we'll give it basically, we'll just change this to be zero. And uh, let's add a little transition on it so that it looks nice too. Kind of smoothly comes in. All right, so now all we're going to have to do is check and see like, okay, if, um, oh, sorry, not slide. Yes, if slide in has class, then remove the class. So if slide in... Has class um, in and remove it. Otherwise, add it. Okay, okay. Sorry about all the weight on that one. So let's try it, and we get a slide thing. Cool. So now let's uh, let's make it the right height. We can do the same as we did here with the map ID and just make it for the slide in. And there we are. There we have our uh, some information. Let's just give it a little bit more uh, styling here. We'll just give it some padding of 10 pixels. And um, yeah, and that's fine. And then we'll make it, it also have some of the same things so the header doesn't look so weird. All right, there we go. So we have a, we built just, you know, a basic sliding thing. Oh, it's not going all the way off. Oh, it's just because of the padding we added. So let's make that actually 270. There we go. Okay. So there we go. And uh, we'll see you in the next video where we'll actually start putting some stuff in here and messing with some data that's a bit more complex. Just before we finish this video, I'm just going to bring in a couple of mobile considerations. So um, I'm just going to use the inspector here, make this mobile. Okay, so why don't we make this a little smaller, um, something like an iPhone 8. Okay, so we see that now we have a problem here where the overlay is kind of on top of it. Also, this overlay is kind of too big for mobile. Uh, you can still get around and use the map, though. And also, you have to be aware that you don't get your hover events um, the same way, of course, because there's, the user doesn't drag a mouse around on mobile, so our events aren't really going to work the same way. 
Now the touch events are, you can hook into them in a custom way or you can do them individually. So the touch events often trigger the other types of events in Leaflet. We're going to look a little more into this as we go further, but this is also something you'll just have to be testing yourself on mobile and to some degree you may have to disable events. Um, okay, we're going to we're going to look into that a bit more in a, in another section. I'm going to save that for now. But otherwise, just on a pure interface level, um, this is maybe not as good as it is in the main site. And even having it up here might also be a little annoying. So it might be better to use these advanced toggles when it comes to mobile so you can completely slide in information. And you might just put this advanced toggle button just up here or right down here. And that way, you know, you can just position it absolutely just like we've done and then make it appear here and just show it only in mobile as opposed to having it in an overlay like this. So that's just some brief mobile considerations. And as I mentioned, let's talk more about mobile events in the advanced section.